up everybody this is general spear here welcome back to the episode when well, welcome back to the first episode of a new series of XCOM 2 heroes um this is a very fun and fantastic uh series or at least i think it's going to be because we have such a small squad this time in comparison to what we've had in past XCOM games we only have eight characters and here they are master chief John 117, here we go. Sporting the, uh, the Halo 4 armor. We have uh, Wade Wilson, otherwise known as Deadpool, as a uh, demolitions expert. We have HK47, codename Meatbag. Here he is as a specialist, looking pretty schnazzy. Laura Croft here, as another specialist. Leonard Church as our sharpshooter, sporting the uh, Halo 4 style armor with a little bit of, uh, I believe, Halo 3 action there as well on the chest plate. Tony Stark as our other, another Grenadier, aka Iron Man, looking pretty nice, looking pretty nice. Mitra Surik, uh, who we're going to get a lightsaber at some point. But she is our ranger, and then returning from the uh, the Mandalorian campaign, Candorus Ordo, otherwise known as Mandalore. Um, I gotta fix up his look a little bit, but we're gonna fix that probably later on in game. But I am super stoked for this series, guys. Let us go ahead and begin this. I think we're gonna do veteran difficulty. Uh, we're gonna reduce the beginner VO, show subtitles. And I think we're set to go. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to start without Iron Man. Uh, because I got quite a few mods enabled. Uh, that would mess up my game quite a bit. If it were to uh, do stuff. But we're going to go ahead and start this campaign. And get this stuff rolling. So without further ado guys. Thank you all for watching. Hulk smash that like button. Come to the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to, get to subscribe. And let's roll on. Continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your neighbors. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. Alright, let's see what we have. It's time to take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take down a public target. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. Alright, so Operation Gate Crasher. It looks like we have Candace Ordo, HK47, which are a great duo, and whenever I play Kodar, I always take those two out. So it's gonna be awesome. We, it looks like we also have the camera back up just a second. We have Iron Man and Master Chief. That is not a bad combination there. All right, let's go ahead and get Operation Gate Crasher rolling. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Okay, so we have Master Chief, Candorous, uh, HK-47, and Iron Man, Tony Stark, a.k.a. Uh, we're gonna move Master Chief hey, right here. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Alright, we're gonna actually move him over this way. All right, Meatbag is gonna move here. If you say so, Master. <laughs> I love hearing um, HK-47. Um, and we're gonna move Tony Stark to right here. All right, and I think, just so we can get a bunch of kills potentially on the leaderboard here. We're actually going to have uh, HK go on Overwatch. And uh, let's see if we can get these two with um, Master Chief. Nice. Uh, so apparently we got a promotion, or two promotions. Um, we're not supposed to, necessarily. Alright, we got some options here. Let's move already. Aw, oh, crap. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. So we'll take care of that guy. Promotion earned. Okay, there's more promotions earned, which I don't like. I'm on it. Covering now. Uh oh. That's a miss. Okay. That's another miss. That was close. This is not good. Right. Ow. So Candorus is gonna be in the infirmary. Hopefully he doesn't get killed here. That's a miss. Okay, good. There's heavy fire in this zone. Okay, what are our options? Menace 1 5, you're near the target position. Tired of waiting around. Iron Man can move here. Oh. 
I see chief. Come on, Iron Man. Nice. How many is that now? On the move. I'm gonna get it for sure here. Nice. Promotion earned. And go on Overwatch with uh, HK-47. On your command. That is not in my programming. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Jesus. Look at it. Looks like it's gonna be Chief the Rescue here, possibly. There we go. Heretic that. Agreement. Proper vigilance requires constant patrol. Prepare for impact. I love the voices. Not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Heading out. Scanners is gonna move here. So he's ready. Okay. So we got some guys that are gonna need to get into the infirmary after this. But we're gonna plant the charges and call Operation Gatekeeper a success. One five rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. So we got multiple promotions. All three of them were wounded, unfortunately. But um, realistically, uh, we should. For those who have not seen any of my XCOM 2 series before, uh, I played late game with the XCOM 2 Mandalorian campaign with an extra XP mod, and the same was applied with, um... Hold on. There we go. Game wanted to minimize there for a moment. Um... I played the same uh, with the same mod with uh, the Galactic Empire campaign, and I could have sworn that I took it off. And this is becoming buggy for some reason. Hold on. There we go. Um, and uh, I guess we have some extra promotions, and we shouldn't. But okay. I I I kind of wanted to progress with. With a slightly more, uh, slight more difficulty and whatnot, but I guess it's fine. We did well, though. We did really well. Um, not bad for, you know, Operation Gate Crasher. We got three wounded, though, so they're gonna be in the infirmary for a while. Uh, but, uh, let's, uh, let's go to it. Let us see what we got in terms of uh, promotions. Now, it should be using the Use My Class mod. Uh, but if not, I'm going to have to do some fancy uh, fancy footwork. Let's do uh, John117 here first. Yes, Spartan 2. Okay. So this is a uh, kind of the Halo variant of the, um, the uh, Super Soldier mod. Which is pretty awesome. Got Headhunter and Frontline. Depending on our options, we could uh, potentially do something really good. Uh, Iron Man. Yes. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Excellent. I like it. So, Grenadier, carry on. He's going to be out for a month. HK-47. Yes! Oh, it's working! Most advanced equipment. 
specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. I love his models there. I love HK-47's models. It works so well. Anders Ordo, Grenadier. Okay, that's good. So far, it works. I just want to go to the soldiers Commander, here. To the research labs. All right, and we have uh, these three in here, which will eventually get on the uh, the battlefield. I have no problem with that, but we head over to engineering really quick. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. See you, Zygon. All right, new research. Um, we're gonna go with modular weapons. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll see. All right. Thank you, Tegan. Now off to see Lily okay. Shen. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it. But from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. <laughs> I, I really want to know what happened to uh, it's been slow her dad going, and whatnot. I made headway interfacing our equipment with the alien technology still embedded throughout the ship. Most of the primary systems are now operating on some combination of our technology and theirs. My hope is to use the best of both worlds to come up with something new, something the aliens won't expect. All right, we're gonna get the Gorilla Tactics School going. Gorilla Tactics School construction initiated. And uh, go from there. And I believe we'll be wanted on the bridge. Commander. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Dum dum. Dum dum dum. Oh, we're in North America. How nice for us. 
All right, so let us go to uh, the uh, the engineer over here. The engineer st stop. Get us a nice little NG right off the bat. In four days, hopefully. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Nice modular weapons is upgrade uh, unlocked. Let's go for alien biotech. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Thank you, Tigan. Excellent. All right. Setting course for Sector Nine, Western United States. Supplies. Uh, yes. Go ahead and investigate, but I want. The, uh, the engineer to be assigned to the Gorilla Tactics School to speed up the process. Thank you. I put it. Oh, I know what's up with the face. It's part of the mod, or it's part of the selection of mods that I have. It happens. Gorilla Tactics, or Gorilla Ops. Nice. We have Western U.S. We have an engineer. Excellent. Destroy the relay. For this will States. be good and fun. All right. So we have Chief out again, which is going to be good. Um, it's going to be an easy mission, but there's an, is there anyone else I could bring? I mean, we could bring Deadpool. That's a possibility. It is going to be an easy mission. But I'd rather bring Chief, if possible. That might be a better option. Uh, got Church, Surik, and Croft. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine with this setup. Let's go ahead and uh, do Operation Demon Tomb. Deploy in position for deployment. All right, here we go. We're picking up a steady stream of communications coming from a hidden alien comm relay uploading data to the advent network from this region. We have to take advantage of every opportunity to disrupt the aliens' progress on their latest operation. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Don't leave any hostiles standing. Okay. So, Slums District at uh, Pig Road in Vancouver. This is gonna be fun. I notice there's a little bit of a rendering issue with uh, Church's armor at the moment. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, but I think it's gonna be good. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Get some more XP for uh, for Chief, as well as some uh, upgrades for our three remaining soldiers. Or, excuse me, three out of our four, because we still got Deadpool to uh, level up. But let's go ahead and, uh, and do this. Ah, oh, finally. Alright. Menace 1-5. Communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. We can do that. I think we're gonna place uh, Leonard Church up top. What do you guys? Uh, what do you guys want? All right. Oh, look at that. Master Chief has already got a shield. Those shield bears will get some payback now. All right. There we go. My game is having a lot of freezing issues right now. Uh, we're going to move Laura Croft up to here. Some enemies over this way. to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. We're going to have Laura, um, not Laura, Mitra go up top. And they're moving. And this is okay with me. 
All right, so uh, my uh, my game crash, folks. I apologize for that. Um, but what we're going to do is going to move church to here, and uh, we're going to see if we can blow these guys up. Every time I've made a plan, it's falling apart. I figure, why not just? Motherfucker. All right. Okay. So that's uh that works. Word is confirmed. Moving out. No problem, boss. Okay, let's get let's get Laura and uh, Mitra in here. Nice. And there we go. Let's move Master Chief up and do a little bit of Overwatch. Okay. You're going down. There's three guys here. I also see some more guys back there. Hopefully they won't activate. Oh, nice job, Church. Nice your friend, job. the incredibly badass and sexually attracted soldiers of Mexico. P.S. Sucker balls. Okay, that was really loud, but really awesome. Um, we're going to move Laura to right here. Okay. This is the best way to go about it, I think. Scanning. Got two people on Overwatch here. Get some damage here. Ow. No! I wanna go home! Oh, lovely. Okay, well, there are some possibilities here. Granted, they're not fantastic. There we go. You know that was good. Finish this fight. Okay. We don't have quite uh, the sniper abilities yet, but we'll try this. Nope. Fuck! I missed him! <laughs> Can we get this grenade right in here? Frag out. I guess not. Okay. What's this guy going to do? Ow. But I do have the shield, which works. That hurt a bit. Come on, church. There we go. Nicely done. Now, let's get to actual cover here. Nice hit, Chief. Nice hit. Let's see. Let's get a flank shot with Mitra. All right. Nice shot. Let's go here with Croft. Come on, Laura. Nice and done. Okay. Looks like all we need to do now is to neutralize the enemy, or not neutralize the enemy, uh, grab the it, loot that's here, go. which Chief will do. Nicely done. Illyrium Core and Alien Data Cache. And 
Laura. Nice hit. Heading out. Mitra's gonna go here. She's gonna be in the infirmary for a while. There you go. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right, nine enemies, one wounded. Excellent mission. We did it. Very good. Very, very good. By the way, I apologize for the crash, guys. Uh, that will happen sometimes uh, because of how many mods I'm running. It's the reason why I don't do a straight up vanilla Iron Man camp or a straight up Iron Man campaign. I will do an Iron Man campaign at some point, but it'll be straight vanilla. And um, I don't know when that's going to be, but that is the plan. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Good mission overall, though. Like, we got one wounded, but, I mean, it's... It's not like it's any, the end of the world there. And we're only gonna get better with this team. Alright, back to base. Another success for us, which is good. Good way to start off this uh, this series. Told the troops to expect the best, and that's what you've shown them, Commander. All right, Church. Yes. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Okay. Very good. Carry on. Exile, Mitra Surik. Yes. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. All right. Beautiful. Okie dokie. And Laura Croft. Another specialist, baby. There we go. And Chief. All right, what have we got here? We have Fire Pistol. Or we have Slash. And that looks like it has uh, a bit of a problem there. So I guess, I, in terms of uh, the um, description, I mean, we could do Slash. But I think we'll do a Fire Pistol. That just sounds nice. All right. Let's head back to, uh, to the facilities here. Ah, this guy. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of Resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, sir. All right. New objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. 
Excellent. So we have four wounded in here now. Uh, which, that's going to be immensely fun. But we have pretty much everybody except for Deadpool. Uh, which is fantastic. That is upgraded currently, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. So I am, uh, I am very excited about this prospect. Um... But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of the very first episode of XCOM 2 Heroes. Thank you all for watching. Hope you continue to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, make the Force be ever in your favor. We're picking up an secure transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Local resistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only the beginning, Commander. Oh,